nearly half of adults struggle with medical debt. It follows cancer patients and their families for years. It robs opportunities and ruins hope for a better future. I was 25 when I was diagnosed with cancer. But hey, 10 years later, I'm still here. But so is my debt. To be honest, I thought I would have hit some of those milestones by now. Buy a house, have a family, start a business. Instead, I'm living with my cousin in their apartment. Moving on feels impossible because of my medical debt. Before cancer, we had almost perfect credit. My husband and I were kind of proud of it. Then came my cancer, and we just spent so much on treatment. There wasn't anything left. We had to put everything on our credit cards, and we couldn't keep up. We actually had to file for bankruptcy. I'm in remission, but I'll always be living with debt. I had to do a GoFundMe for my medical bills. It's embarrassing begging friends and family for money. And they all helped out, but it still wasn't enough. We've got two kids, and we're living paycheck to paycheck because all our money goes to climbing out of debt. I guess it is what it is, but we shouldn't be in debt because I survived cancer. Sometimes it feels like I'm drowning in these expenses and I can't move beyond my leukemia. <laughs> it's kind of ironic, right? I survived leukemia, but now I'm putting off going to the doctor because I can't afford any more debt. I haven't been to the dentist in four years. I just can't afford it. I already work two jobs. I can't work any harder. It shouldn't be this way, and it doesn't have to be. More than 90% of people agree Elected officials need to protect people with serious diseases like cancer from overwhelming medical debt. Patients deserve better. Join the movement and be the light that banishes the burden of medical debt from patients' lives. <laughs>